Hey guys, welcome back to Emperor, and in this video we're going to continue building Kai Feng. Now in the first part we started building Kai Feng, we got this housing block set up and put down some farms. We've also started on our military because as you know, this is a military mission and there are lots of um, spies in the city and people who just generally don't like us. So we have to deal with them obviously throughout this mission. And these houses are not evolving because they're not um, desiring the right level of food. Well they're designing plain food but they should be evolving because there's plain food in here so I'm not actually sure what that's about. They should be evolving. But if they don't want to evolve then so be it. Um, so we need to also build out another housing block. I'm probably going to do one just here maybe. Ish. I'm not really sure where the second block is. So we'll go. I might just put it here and just have a road connecting out this way and it might just reach. I'm not sure. Uh, so we've got two farms of millet and wheat and some hemp fields uh, producing plenty of hemp for the city and there goes another spy aye, aye. of two, two spies we'll say. I'd better hide and quickly. Um, our forces are building up which is nice. Hopefully we can start to grow our uh, silk industry as well. So we'll go and turn on raw silk and silk industries to start making some money because as you can see we're just slowly running out of money here for all the importation of steel that we're we're doing in this city, which is not too good for our city finances. Uh, so they're getting food, which is good. Now they're going to get plain food, is it? Nope, still bland food. They're not wanting to get uh, plain food for some reason at the moment. It must be just a distance that they're just not able to get the food into the settlement properly, but never mind. Um, in terms of the elite block, it's going to go up here. I'm going to get rid of this little square of trees. I don't actually know why there's a square of trees with a road loops around it. I don't actually understand that at all. Um, but I'm going to have the elite block up here. Six elite houses connected down here, possibly. Um, it won't be connected to this. I'll just have a getting storage yard to bring it closer. Um, let's just set this to accept silk. In terms of lacquerware making, I'll just have like a little offshoot over here with a little bit of lacquerware being made. What was that message? Oh, Giant Gling is launching uh, an invasion. So six months and then they'll be invading us. Not too good. They are... <laughs> They've gone respectful and they're launching an invasion. I don't understand that at all, but everyone has gone to apathetic, which is good. Um, let's open a trade to, uh, route with Jiang Li because they're respectful they should just open trade straight away. Uh, we ha we'll have trade routes open for a lot of these cities anyway because uh, we need them as part of vassals. I think we need to uh, trade with Chongdu for lacquer. Uh, there's two cities selling lacquer. Tanzhou and Chengdu sell lacquer but we'll only have uh, Chengdu by the end of this. I'll also make up a carved jade industry, I think, as well, because I'm pretty sure someone buys carved jade. Yeah, Guangzhou buys carved jade, and I know that by the time we come back here, there'll be more cities buying carved jade, so that'll be good for us. Um, so I might actually build up um, uh, cabbage farms, actually. Let's go ahead and put down some cabbage farms, like so. Road. Cabbage field. There we go. Oh, some of the tiles didn't get covered, that's okay. There we go, some cabbage fields. So that'll boost our, um, uh, our food supplies up as well, which is what we need. Hopefully we'll have enough troops to deal with this invasion from Jiang Jiangling, I think, is it? Yeah, Jiangling or something like that. Um, here comes another spy. Oh, spy there, that was close. I almost lost some stuff out of my paper maker. Two spies on top of each other, how nice. At least I caught that spy who was trying to uh, whisk away some stuff from our paper maker. That would have been catastrophic if that had happened. Um, so I'll let this continue. Actually, I'm going to turn off the silk and raw silk industries because we don't have enough workers to deal with that right now. And I'll turn off um, the cabbage farms, but I'll have them planted anyway. And so I'll let this run and I'll come back in when we're nearer the invasion. So 
the invasion is just about to come in, but we've got some spies in the city, which is not obviously what we want. I also like to get Hongdi into the city, which is good. Um, he came in, which is good. Does that acupuncture being a spy? That's not too good. Hide and quickly. Uh, the trade route with Jangling opened up, so I'm importing some salt, which shouldn't have any trouble getting over to the city. Now will help to improve our housing, because these houses just don't want to evolve for some reason. So I'll just set that to only get plain food, and it might force them to stop buying singular items. So one month to go, and then we will be invaded. But from where? That's uh, the question we have to ask ourselves. It doesn't help when random houses get infected for absolutely no reason at all. Uh, so let's see where this invasion comes from. It's probably going to be from the northern end of the map up here or something, but we'll see. Uh, let's get the troops into position, well, Wong Day into position at least. And find out where they come from. If it's down here, I'm just reloading because I would never be able to deal with it. Oh, they're going to get the salt. Yeah, I noticed that they weren't getting the bean curd. I think it's because uh, it wasn't connected, but salt they're going to go and get, even though it's away over there. I could bribe them cash, but I don't see the point. And you are kidding me. They're invading. Oh, that's not fair. Okay, I'm going to um, reload because that's just so not fair where they've invaded from. So, yeah, let's try again. It's only three people. That's hardly an invasion to worry about. But never mind. So the invasion's just about to come round and we've got everything prepared. Um, I hope they invade from the same place again because otherwise if this doesn't work then I'll be a bit annoyed if they invade somewhere else because my troops will take forever to get into position. Let's move Hongdi just out of there because he'll probably get in the way. And hopefully we've got enough troops to defeat this foe. Um, when I really reloaded, I noticed a spy was stealing stuff out of this weapon smith, but I managed to catch it before he, he did that. He was close to doing it though. Right, come on, troops. Yeah, same place. Oh, that's easy enough. And there's only three troops anyway, so it's not like it's a big invasion. And Hongdi will help us very well. And the invasion force has been defeated. It's a bit funny because of the fact that uh, we're trading with jangling and they're invading us anyway, but never mind. Um, so our houses have evolved, as you just saw there. Plenty more people could come into the city now. I just need to set up a clay making industry just over here. Um, I think it's going to be a bit difficult to get perfect harmony, but I'll try. Um, but I very, very much doubt that it'll happen. It's just too difficult, in my opinion, to get in this particular mission, just simply because of where all the rocks are placed. Um, but so, ignoring probably bad harmony in this area here, because these can't go here because it's all water and grassland. It needs to be near rocks. There goes another spy, and people are coming in, which is good. We'll start to evolve our housing, and there goes another spy to cover of all those immigrants. Um, we're getting the, the workers in now, so I'll turn on the raw silk and uh, silk industries to start making some money because we're very close to running out of money here. If we're not careful, I'll turn on the clay and uh, the ceramic cabbage farms and get them going. Sorry, I'm tongue tying my words here. Um, can we export paper to anyone? Because we can see everyone's trading quotas, so let's see. Um, uh, no paper exports, so there's no point really making more than one paper maker for this city. And plain food is not delivered. Why not? As they're devolving and evolving, this is not good for us. Go get the plain food, please. Because I don't really want trouble with this. Let's go ahead and put down the acrobat school because they'll be needed in this city. For some reason this watchtower hasn't evolved. It might evolve when these uh, things come out. Uh, let's go and turn off these um, farmhouses because they're going to cause problems. And our houses have evolved and devolved rapidly. I'm not sure why that they're not getting enough food, but uh, I think it'll stabilise in time. Um, it's just a bit difficult at the moment, obviously. So we're going to start making some silk and start exporting it to Pingyao because... Um, we're running out of money here and we don't have anything to um, to make other than silk. 
hopefully this will stabilize and um, yeah so what I'll do is I'll let this run and I'll come back in once our housing is stabilized and um, I'll also go and plan out the second common block over here or just the side I don't know where it's going to go but I don't think it'll have a wall right around so it might not be a full block but I'll go and plan that out as well start to stabilize the city uh, for good and we'll also try to build up our military because we really need to get to the four cities goal which is going to take forever to reach if I don't do anything about it now so I'll go and plan out another housing block and start to stabilize the city so here's my new uh, second housing block sorry uh, it was a struggle to get it in because as you can see the walls kind of are in the most awkward in some places so this wasn't easy to place I can assure you uh, just simply because of where everything, uh, because that's the map hedge there, it makes it difficult to get stuff in. Which is not too good. Um, I need to evolve these buildings because... I need them at the highest possible thing to try and get two of them in here because that'll make sure that... Because this can't reach the, the inspector down here, so I have to have this open to inspectors. Otherwise, uh, things will go to hell, essentially. I'm just going to check it out to see if there's any more spies. I think there will be plenty of those in the city. And our employment issues are solving which is good. I've just needed to if, uh, enable buildings to try and kill off some of the unemployment problems to try and um, prevent people mass exodusing out of the city. Uh, I need to also try and get Sun Tzu in here because um, we're going to need him for getting rid of the, all the spies permanently. Uh, so we've got Herbalist doll, not there. That there. That there. And a tax collector just there. Uh, because of this water, it means I can't really put much desirability behind here, but I'll try if I can. What I might do is just do what I did in one of the other maps. I can't remember which one it was, but I did like spacing between the housing just to kind of improve desirability to do something like this. Oh, there goes another spy catching. There goes another spy. They're at it in this map, I can tell you. And there goes another one. They're all over this map, aren't they? Right, so our troops are building up. We've got two full forts. That's good enough. We're starting to make silk, and we're going to have to obviously um, give some of that to the gods sooner or later, because we're going to need the... Uh, their appeasement. Uh, let's just put some more of these down. There's space for more weavers if we need them. I'll go ahead and put down more silkworm sheds, I suppose. Like so. And start going far more silk than I need. And we'll see if we can uh, try to stabilize this city. Um, We've got plenty of hemp coming in now, like tons of it. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to break the perfect harmony of the city because um, I will need to um, put the warehouse for the ceramics over here. Uh, the house that I had in here collapsed because it didn't have access to the inspector, so that was inevitable. I think that was going to happen whether I liked it or not. So I won't do the same here, I'll just kind of let this stabilise. I won't evolve um, any of this yet because we have too many people in the city at the moment. And not enough to um, uh, get rid of it. Um, does anyone actually buy hemp? Because I might make an export out of hemp if I can find someone who buys it. Um, no, no one buys hemp. Okay, fine. I don't really expect hemp to be a, a, per, a, a sellable item here, but always worth a look, isn't it? Uh, so I'm making loads of silk now. I'm going to give some of that to Hong Di before he gets upset. Actually, I'll give him loads of hemp. Since we've got tons of it in stock and like ridiculous amounts to get rid of. Um, so I'm also going to go and start playing this elite block because I'm going to need that sooner or later. How many months of heroes have we had? 6 of 36. We need another 30 months. That's quite a lot of months of heroes. There goes another spy. They're all over the place here, aren't they? Quickly. Oh, listen, they might even be intermingling down here as well. There goes one. There's another one. My cover is blown. They are everywhere. Did you pack everything? Yes. I'm having to check like every single person and avoid speed up, otherwise I might miss spies. Which I don't want to do. 
Uh, so I'm not going to evolve this. I'm going to um, put down some uh, clay making industries, I think. Just get rid of the road going right through the centre here because it's not helpful at all. And uh, let's just put a. I'll just put a blue right this too wide just to provide space for the ceramics stuff but I don't think I'll need this much but let's put down one, two, one, two, three, four. And yep, bad harmony is going to hack her because we're gonna have this here so yeah I'm sorry but I have to have pa uh, bad harmony in this city because of the fact of uh, where everything is. Uh, oops I didn't mean to do that. Now, do we have any more um, spies in this city? Starting to make plenty of silk. Let's go ahead and sell some because we're getting very close to running out of cash for all the stuff we've been building. So we'll start making some money from um, selling uh, stuff to ping out. Start to boost the city a bit. We've got some workers needed, but that's okay. Um, well, that's got plenty of food in it, so it's not got a big issue at all. So we don't need to really worry about that too much. Uh, so I'm going to have to obviously go plan out an area for my elite housing just up here. I'm going to get rid of all the trees because they're just getting in the way. So I put down a block of six houses here for elite housing and start to uh, make lacquerware as well. And uh, we'll also uh, get some elite housing as I've said because uh, we're going to need all elite housing glory. sooner or later. Um, so what I'll do is I'll keep watching on the city to see if there's any more spies appearing and I'll go and plan out the elite housing block and start building up our military so we can get towards this rule for cities goal. Right so here's my elite block, it's got six blocks but I'm only going to put four of them down at the moment. Um, unfortunately it's still going to have bad harmony because of this but this is a bit of a struggle to get in um, but I managed to get it in which is good enough. I'm obviously going to have to um, boost um, farmer, uh, the amount of farms that I've got because I certainly don't have enough. So let's put down one, two, three, one, two, three, and we'll put down another cabbage farm just here. And we'll go ahead and put down another, uh, not a wheat field, let's put down a millet field because we're growing plenty of um, wheat as it is so we don't need that much. Um, so let's go ahead and put down, I'm just going to put down a hemp farm, another one. And we're going to put down some hemp just there. Let's catch him. He's a spy. So is he. And so is he. Plenty of spies in this city, I have to say. Uh, running out of workers now. So let's go ahead and start evolving some housing here. Let's just see if I can get all of this in. If I just extend this wall by a tile, like so, I can. Um, oops. Didn't mean to put a break in it. We'll put down a house just here. And put statues all the way along here. And then we'll put down food. So it's to plain food for hemp shop. And then we're starting to make some ceramics. We'll put down a ceramic shop and set this to appetizing plain food because there's plenty of food in the city now. So we're not have to worry about that too much. Certainly running out of cash, obviously. Uh, I'm going to put down an extra mill because this mill away over here is just too far. Uh, so we'll set this to um, cabbage, millet, and wheat, and we'll get game meat or maybe something else. I don't know. We'll import. Well, we have to import rice from somewhere. Uh, we could import. Well, we need the Chengdu trading post anyway. Um, I might actually import the lacquer from Tanjo and import rice. Uh, I think that's what I'll do. So I'll set this to accept rice. And um, we need to put down some lacquerware makers. Um, we don't have woodcutters in this city, do we? Um, let's check. No, right, so I have to import all the wood I need. Um, that means we're going to have to trade with Jizo. Uh, for wood and uh, actually I'll trade rice with them instead so Jizo I'm gonna put this trading post here and import not that much food we'll just import eight and we'll import rice and we'll also put down some 
elite plots. We'll just put four down at the moment, but we can't because we've run out of ceramics because they're running to gobble them up. Not helpful. Let's go down two more of this. Oh, we'll block here and we'll block here since we'll go up this bit because they don't need to. Right, so we'll start to evolve our housing and get it up a bit higher. We'll have to import tea from someone. Who, I don't know, but we'll catch some spies while we're at it. Just in the city. Uh, made a little profit, but hardly anything, because we're not making enough silk. Uh, so we're going to stabilise our silk supply. Maybe export weapons? I'll set this to accept silk and weapons. And start making money, because we're going to need to do that sooner or later, otherwise we will be in some dire straits. Uh, so let's set this to a food shop. There's another spy, I'm just going to catch him in a second. Let's set this to appetizing food only and turn the entertainment area off. Let's catch him. They're all over the place these spies aren't they? And let's sell weapons to Jiang Ling because there's nothing better to do. I may put a trading uh, key down here for Guan Shou later if we need to sell more uh, silk. I don't think we'll need to do that anytime soon though, so I don't think it's a big deal. Let's put down a hemp shop and a ceramic shop. I'm pretty sure that these are going to be too far away for them to reach, but I'm fairly certain we'll be able to get to the, the ceramics from there, so I don't think that should be a, an issue. Just a quick look around for spies. Is there anyone here that is a spy? Uh, nope. Very slowly running out of cash here. I need to make money sooner or later, otherwise we're going to be in some deep straits here. Importing the wooden rice is not helping to stabilise our funds, is it? No demands for food or hemp. Not a good idea, is it? Let's go ahead and put down some of the required buildings, like a tax collector, herbalist stall, acupuncturist clinic. Um, we'll need a Confucian Academy, so let's go ahead and put down another paper maker. Because we'll need more paper. Dump it there, and I'll do. Is that in perfect harmony? It is, so it's okay. No other spies in the city, is there? I know there was a couple of ones up here, but it didn't really make much difference. House are evolving just nicely here, and um, to stabilise the city. And uh, yeah, so the head is certainly too distant, so. What I'll do is I'll set this to accept mostly lacquerware, but I'll set it to accept hemp. I'll set it to accept 8 hemp. Let's just reduce this. And there was another item it needed, wasn't it? Oh, we need to get 4 silk. So that'll do for now, and I'll obviously add more as we need to do so. And uh, do we have enough uh, to put down? Nope, we don't have any ceramics at the moment. Oh, there we go, there's some ceramics. Let's go ahead and put down these two, and there we go, we've got um, enough here. And we're in debt, not too good. Spies, every, oh, an emissary for Ping Yao will give us cash. 2,000 cash, that's pretty good. Spies, everywhere. Go away, seriously. You're getting annoying now. And I don't think there's any issue with food now, so we should have too much difficulty. Let's see, does this cause any issues by having the roads go this way? What I'll do is I'll um, put a roadblock just there and remove that roadblock just so that they have a straight out access to everything. Uh, so we're growing plenty of food. Um, not really stabilising in here, but it's okay. As our houses start to evolve, we'll be able to reduce some of the labour shortages. I'll put this up to very high for now, just to kind of get things going. Um, open to market employees, that's okay. So we've got plenty of food down here, which is good for us. Um, no one else celebrating the new year, that's pointless. Right, so we're making plenty of silk, let's go ahead and sell more silk. I'm certainly going to boost the, the amount of silk that we're making by putting down some more um, silkworm sheds. So let's do one, two, three, 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 like so. And some mulberry trees, there we go. 
plenty of silk being made now. So what we're going to do is we're going to let this run, try to stabilise our finances, get all of this going. I'm actually going to put a ta uh, another paper maker just up here to try and uh, make this easier to reach. And then you get access to Nakraban. I haven't put down the... Um, oh, there's another bloody spy. Right. What I'm going to do is stabilise the city and come back in once I've got this evolved a bit higher. Okay, so I've got this um, expanded, and obviously expanded on this because this is now stable. I just realised we don't have any lacquerware. Um, we don't have any lacquerware makers working because they don't have access to lacquer. Uh, so I need to get a trade route open by Chongdu or Tanjo, and Chongdu has gone displeased. So let's give them a large gift of wheat. That might help them a bit. I want to put the drama school down here because it was good feng shui down here for this area. Um, so I need to get a trade route open with someone who uh, sells me uh, lacquer so that I can uh, make lacquerware. And we're selling some more silk here which is good for the economy. We need to just produce far more. I've irrigated some of this uh, to try and boost fertility of some of these farms. Uh, using an irrigation ditch it might help. Uh, very much doubt it will. I'm not going to bother irrigating uh, these farms because these are on perfectly clear land anyway. Well, that's the industry going on. Okay. So our worker shortages are solving themselves. They just need access to appetizing food. They're not getting access to enough food. So I might go ahead and like maybe put farms out here or something. I don't know. Try to boost the supply, obviously. Um, let's see. I don't think we've got any issues with spies at the moment, but they're probably out there just waiting and biding their time to strike and damage us. Well, we're making loads of silk. We should have no trouble with making money. Oh, lost a spy there, and he stole stuff out of the steel weaponsmith. What a bastard he is. Um, so what we're going to do is let this run, and once we've got access to silk in... Well, actually, that's wrong. I can just put down the silk shop and they'll go and get the silk. So, once sea size is involved, we'll go and put down some more forts and I'll start to boost the economy. We'll also start to stabilize this because this is unstabilized for some weird reason. Uh, not enough food coming in. So, I'll put down more farms, I think. We'll need four farms to try and stabilize this city because not enough food in the city. So, I'll go ahead and do that. And I'll come back in once we've got started on prepping more forts. Okay, so our houses have now evolved to lavish Sahelian, so I just need to get someone selling me the required um, lacquer. Uh, Chandu was grateful for the stuff that they had um, I sent them, which is good, so they've gone to apathetic now. I just need to kind of boost that a bit more. I'm going to have to uh, give them more than just food. The only problem is that the only food that I can give them is wheat. So. Really what I want to do is conquer Chongdu fairly early because um, at this point they're not really doing anything useful um, and I need to um, stuff from them basically. Uh, but that's going to have to ha wait until the next video because um, we've run out of time on this one. So in the next part I'm going to continue to stabilise our elite block, keep trying to catch spies, I'll also get Sun Tzu in here see if he can help us. I'll also try to keep Hong Di happy because he's going to neglect it, which is not too good. We'll give him 16 crates of ceramics, so I'll keep him happy. Uh, so in the next video we're going to continue building Kai Feng, try to stabilise this mill because it seems to be lacking in food, and we'll also keep catching spies. Uh, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video guys. Bye now!